Uh, but speaking of old people, and here's what's become a very old argument. And I think Chuck Chuck Barkley has kind of the best spin on this. It's stupid. Uh, if you're going to have the MJ versus LeBron conversation, and especially if you're going to have it as often as, as they have it on ESPN and, and FS1, it just becomes like, do you have talent uh, or are you just trying to say something to get ratings? And I think it's an interesting conversation if you frame it properly. And I don't really want to compare Michael Jordan versus LeBron James uh, to one another's just career side by side anymore, because I think you, you lose a lot of the context, the nuance of both of their careers. Um, MJ was in a league that, that was v much more strong at the beginning of his career and that weakened out, you know, there was expansion during MJ's prime. And, and it was dominated by big men. Big men were the attraction. And it was a, it was a, it was a two point league and the league kind of played into MJ's favor as his career progressed. You take LeBron, there was still, it was still a big man ish league, but it was starting to become a forward guard league. Not really guard league. It's never been like a guard, uh, a guard league, unless you're going to call it, unless we're talking shooting guards, but wing league, you know, it became more of a wing league, but mid LeBron's prime as he has the cheat code to building up the perfect team through free agency, player empowerment comes the three point revolution and the Curry shit. And it's like, well, damn, I'm more of an old school player. I'm not this crazy three point shooter and three count more than two. And these young cheap players are shooting these threes and LeBron was able to pivot, but LeBron was also in a more talented league. And this is not me trying to cop please for LeBron. I'm not, uh, uh LeBron is, has a different mindset uh, towards basketball. He, he he plays the game differently. MJ was a score first guy. LeBron James is what's the right uh, play to make no matter what the result is. So when people try to throw around the scoring titles, he goes, well, dude, LeBron didn't try to score as much, so he's not going to have the scoring titles. You know, like I just think that's a, a weak argument. Well, that um, and there were better scorers in the league when even when LeBron's in it, AI was still a prolific scorer when LeBron got yeah. T Mac, Mello. T Mac, Mello, KD. D Wade, KD, Jay yeah. Horn. There's, there's so many guys. Hell, Westbrook at one point, because he led the league in scoring one year. I know. Uh Harden. I mean, so like there's it's not fair to compare because when I think of the scores of the 90s, I mean, who's the second best? And I asked this question. Who was the second best shooting guard in the NBA when Clyde Drexler? 